Hey y'all, and welcome to the newest game from Random Studios, The Testing Chamber. Here, every decision has an impact on the end of the game, just like the questions in the test trilogy. Uh, so let's see how badly I can mess this up. New journey. This experience is all about exploration and self-discovery. The testing chamber has many hidden mysteries to uncover, if you so choose to take advantage of all it has to offer. Okay. Each time you enter a new chamber, your progress will be saved, and you'll be unable to return from whence you came. Alright, so it's pretty much forward only. It's important to explore each area as much as you can while you can in order to get the most out of your experience. Some events throughout this experience can only be unlocked through exploration, finding hidden pieces to puzzles. Oh, I'm gonna suck at this. If you move on from an area too quickly before finding these pieces, you may miss out on future opportunities to unlock secrets you come across later. We urge you to use your actions. Choose your actions wisely. All right. It's recommended that you play this game in the dark while wearing headphones for full atmosphere. Well, it's raining, so it's kind of darkish. Uh, you may play as a controller, keyboard, or mouse. Just your key binding. Okay, yeah. I already did that. We hope you enjoy your journey as it unfolds. And we wish you safe travels through the testing chamber. Yeesh. All right, thank you. Memorial of the Fallen. A cold wind blows, making the pouring rain that much colder. The constant sting of heavy downpour is almost unbearable on your bones, as your tattered attire offers you little protection from the harsh elements. Firelight flickers wildly in the distance, beckoning you onward. Um. Eastern path, Lady of the Scales, Western path, testing chamber. Is the testing chamber taking me through a, um, graveyard? Hey, what's this? Butterfly wings wanted. These winged beasts are an unwelcome plague in these lands. All butterflies are to be captured and plucked apart on sight. That's kind of messed up, um, actually. Well, let me lower the... Well, this, the volume's really loud. Woo! I make it soft. All right. Plucked apart on sight. What is with these butterflies? Anything up here? Hey, look at me. I'm a little skeleton. I'm a little skelly dude. I better see what this is. Cause I thought that was the path, but it looks like... Rest in peace, Sean Williams. You will be eternally missed. Mark Edwards. Felix. Our vids always remind from our hearts. A wooden grave marker tethered to a rope to tether to a rope oh i want to read it here rests sloth time waits for no one time will pass with or without you that's deep in a year from now you could be a year ahead or you can look back on your life a year prior and find yourself standing in the exact same position that you are right now you don't have to want to move forward but you do have to move Sloth, my friend, is the enemy of greatness. Oh, good thing he's dead. Whoa! Oh! That has never happened to me when I've been in a cemetery. The few times that I have been. I usually don't. Anything there? Okay. Flowers! See, now I'm going to want to click everything, because I don't know what... <laughs> Large iron flagpole. What's this? This is... Large stone mausoleum stands before you. A solid stone door guards the entrance. You get the sense that if you decide to venture forward, there might be no coming back. Well, I think that's the testing chamber. What would you like to do? Walk into the mausoleum? Eee. I... I guess. Alright, you give the heavy stone door a solid push as it begins to open. The darkness emanating from the mausoleum is impenetrable. Something beckons you from within. 
entrance to the testing chamber. Pungent smell of dirt and trapped rainwater floods the cavern air. You descend a rope into the unknown. Your game has been successfully saved. All right, well, no getting out of there now. Hey, can I keep this? Handle's splintered and weak. Oh, all right, well, I guess not. Hey, look at that dude over there. Is he going to tell me, take this? It will help you. Take this, it will purr. I hope he gives me a cat. Oh, butterfly! Small butterfly flutters near you. It appears to have a broken wing. Oh, poor thing. <sighs> well, ugh. That's tough. I don't want to pull the wings off of it. That's kind of cruel. I've never been one to be, you know, outwardly cruel. But it already has a broken wing and it's going to die. The sign did say they were a plague. <sighs> if I leave it, it's going to die. If I pluck the wings, it's going to die. Okay, do it. Do it. This must stuff the... Okay. You have acquired butterfly wings. All right. Others won't remember the most beautiful face, nor the most beautiful body. At the end of the day, they will remember the most beautiful heart and soul. Who's whispering to me? The severed wings seem to be spasming, even after they've been removed from the creature. <gasps> I am so sorry. Hey, sparkly. A twinkling light. <laughs> It's that easy to get over the plucked butterfly. It's like, sparkly. From a crystallized object, partially buried in the dirt floor, which is... Oh, I'm taking that. Reach out and grab the twinkling object. It appears to be an encrusted flower petal, crystallized and preserved over time. Neat. Crystalline petal. Whoa, hey. See a shadowy visage of royalty appear briefly out of the corner of your eye. You hear a faint whisper on the wind. Is wind down here? She loves me. Oh, is that she loves me, she loves me not? The visage disappears just as quickly as it came. Alright. Ooh, books. Do love me some books. Plethora of old books. Lie in the dusty wooden shelves. Most of the pages are disconnected from the spines and the ink on the parchment has become illegible and lost to time. Well, that's a bummer. How about over here? Wide array of potions and elixirs fill the shelves so far past their expiration date. Oh, that's too bad. I'll go talk to this dude here. Come along way to find this place, wanderer. Let's hope your search is not in vain. That looks like the guy from Medieval Fantasy Simulator, which I have yet to play for the channel, but I am thinking about it. Behind me lies the testing chamber. If you wish to enter, I must warn you first. All right. Upon entry, you will not be able to return. Like, at all? You will go deeper and deeper and deeper into the chamber. You will wander. You will search. You will be watched. And you will be judged. Well, that's kind of how these games have been going as of late. Everyone's judging me. As you delve deeper, you will be unable to return from whence you came. But most importantly... You will have the opportunity to find the answers you seek. However, all knowledge comes with a price. It's like all magic comes with a price? Deity? Anyway. And you must reveal the darkest secrets you hold dear to an unseen force in which you know nothing about. Oh. Alright. That's much different than talking to my psych doc. Only then will you gaze upon the very reflection of your soul. Ooh, I hope it looks like a bunny. Remember to take your time and explore every inch, every corner, every dark crevasse that exists within. You're talking to the person who will walk around a Final Fantasy game and add like 20 hours to her playtime because I'm looking for everything. This could take a very long time. Whatever you decide to put into the testing chamber will be exactly what you get out. Okay, now go, wanderer. Enter the testing chamber and claim what belongs to you. Wow. What an exit. You're about to enter the testing chamber. You'll be asked to make decisions and choices that cannot be undone. And in time, 
You will be asked a series of questions in which you must provide your darkest truths. How dark? Your honesty is of grave importance. For if you try to cheat your way through the testing chamber, the only person you'll be cheating is yourself. This is dramatic. You will be asked to carry out a series of tasks. Some of these tasks will be rather simple. All right. Some of these tasks will have you questioning yourself, questioning your morals, and above all else, questioning your resolve. I already did that with the butterfly thing. Jeez, I still feel bad. There's, there's a blob of pixels, and I feel bad about that. The most important thing to remember is to take your time. Do not rush. Keep your eyes peeled and senses alert for secret, secrets hiding in plain sight. The testing chamber is home to many hidden events, unique experiences, and unknown entities. And before I let you go, just know this. Every move you make, every breath you take, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Da -da. Wanderer, may your journey be filled with the answers you seek. Thanks. All right. The welcoming room. Firelight flickers in the distance. You're unsure of where you are, but you get the sense that perhaps you shouldn't be here. Too late for that now. Your game has been successfully saved. All right. A butterfly! A small butterfly flutters near you. It's missing a few of its legs. Would you like to do? I'm sorry, butterfly! Okay. Why are these butterflies already injured? Good lord. Ugh. Kind of feel bad about that. Sometimes life refuses to give you the things you wish for. It's not always because you don't deserve them. Oftentimes, it's because you deserve better and just can't see what life has in store for you. Wow. <clears throat> it gives its life for you, Wanderer. Oh, sorry, Butterfly. Book! An old journal made from thick animal skin parchment sits atop the wooden table. It has a list of questions with blank spaces for answers to be written. What would you like to do? Oh, I gotta fill in the answers. You begin to read questions from the journal. You ink your answers upon the pages using a vial of crimson liquid that sits next to the book. I hope it's red ink. Do you have any obsessions that you would consider unhealthy? Hmm. Yes. If you were on a jury... Would you be willing to convict someone of a crime that you feel shouldn't even be illegal? I mean, if it's a if it's a crime, it's a crime. If it's in the books, whether I feel it should be illegal or not, uh, that's tough. Like, if a parent kills someone trying to protect their kid. They should, they should walk free on that one, but. Uh, be willing to convict someone of a crime that you feel shouldn't even be illegal. Yeah, because that's why we have laws and there are ways to get things changed if it's that wrong. If one of your vital organs was damaged beyond repair, and one of your closest family members offered to give you a transplant, however, it would mean sacrificing their life in the process to do so. Would you accept their offer? No. No, I'm already... I'm broken. I'm the one who got broke. That, that's on me. If you're offered one item of your choosing, whatever it is you'd wish, uh, you'd wish it to be, but in order to, to obtain it, you had to put on 100 pounds of body weight and then lose all 100 pounds within the next year, would you do it? One item of my choosing? Can it be a diet plan? Run 100 pounds of body weight and then lose all 100. Yeah, I think I could do that. If you knew the love of your life would get to mention, lose all memory of who you were in Five years from now, would you continue to pursue a relationship with them at least up until they've forgotten who you were? Yes. The memories will still be there. The memories are there. They're just, as far as I understand dementia, they're just trapped. 
Would you trade everything you have in life as it currently stands for a brand new life of your choosing? Ooh, of my choosing. Ooh, as long as my choosing involves my current family and friend group, the, you know, like, like, they could come with me to this awesome brand new life. But they might not want to. That would be selfish if I chose a brand new life of my choosing and drag them all along with me. <sighs> so choosing a brand new life for me would be... So I would probably choose a pretty awesome brand new life. Nah. Would you consider yourself to be warm-hearted? In most circumstances, yes. Do you believe you have a dark mind? <laughs> would you say I have a dark sense of humor? Absolutely. If an alien race took over planet Earth, would you join them and betray the human race if it meant your survival? If the aliens are smarter, um, and, you know, maybe a little more kind on the planet, then <laughs> yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a loyal person? To my friends and family, yes. Do you believe that freedom is the most important aspect of life? Yes, because it allows the other aspects to happen. If you knew a meteor was headed for Earth, and it would mean the extinction of the human race. Would you board a space shuttle and head to a colony on Mars? Do I know anyone on Mars? Are there are there animals on Mars? If it's just a colony, they're probably not going to have a lot of extraneous things like cats and dogs and birds. No. I'll stay here. Do you ever wonder if there's someone out there who's almost exactly like you in nearly every conceivable way? I do wonder that. Do you ever get the sense that you're being watched, even when you're certain you're alone? Well, my cat's asleep right now, but, uh... I guess that wouldn't be when I'm, you know, not being certain that I'm alone. Yes, at work, because I swear that building's haunted. You finish inking your final entry into the journey, the Crimson uh, Journal. The Crimson Ink begins to swirl and form symbols on the page where you've provided your answers. Oh? Am I gonna have to write these down? Oh, hey oh. The final page of the journal appears to be considerably torn. It also seems to be made of a different parchment material than the rest of the journal. Is it human? Perhaps this will be of use? You required the torn journal page. Woohoo! Your decisions have been noted. Your mark has been left. How do you feel, Wanderer? What is it like to traverse these holes? Perhaps I should ask you that question again once you've seen what's in store for you. Yeah, I barely started, so... The clock? No, no, I want to just tuck to see the, the clock. Old dusty clock sits on the wall. The hands of the clock have frozen on 111. Huh. Alright. Oh, what's this pile of- Oh, it's a- Oh, it's a dead pig. <laughs> the rotten, rotten carcass of a swine rests atop a table that appears to only be half cooked. As ba baked meat mixes with rotten, decayed flesh. Oh, that is nasty. I'm gonna poke it. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, that's gross. Ugh. Oh, shiny. Twinkling light radiates from the crystallized object, which small crack and one of the sword. Dang it! Is it another petal? Yeah. Is he gonna say she loves me not? Oh, there he is. Shadow of his royalty appears once again. You hear the same faint whisper. She loves me not. Bra. Once again, the visage disappears into the shadows from whence it came. What did it? Why is there a bloody arrow pointing to the sack? Why are you covered in. Hello? Stone statue of a veiled woman sits tall before you. Her expression is cold and stoic. <sighs> I better lay a token at her fi- I don't have a token. What about here? Is there a token in here? Dusty leather pouch resides here. What would you like to do? Reach into the bag. Oh, a wisdom token. It floats in your pocket. As if it belongs to you. You've acquired a wisdom token. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. Yikes. I'm gonna give it to her. Yep. 
cold and stoic. Put the token. You hear a voice echo in your mind. Attraction plants the seeds. Reflection grows our desire. Mirror the things we need. Flourish into what we, ad we admire. Huh. That could apply to a lot of things. Paid the tribute and received a blessing of wisdom. Your decision has been noted. Oh! Oh, I didn't do that. You hear glass shatter in the distance. That was not me. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Oh, do I get the bad luck from that? Something begins to pull you in. No, no, wait, I was going to go touch the crack in the wall. Halls of Purgatory. Oh, what is that? So I managed to find your way behind the mirror. How you got here is behind your, beyond your understanding. But the more important question you must ask yourself is how are you going to find a way out? Your game's been successful. the same. Okay. Ew, look at this. It looks like the bed was pulled across the floor. Ah! Sparklies! I don't know if I want to touch it. Do you want to That's a hole. What's this? I'm going to touch all these pillars. It's a butterfly. Wait. Oh, I thought it paused, but it was just me. What is this? Welcome as odd as it may seem, the welcome sight of a blood-soaked bed that rests on the dirty floor is almost comforting. It's probably not... It's probably best not to rest in a place like this. Yeah. It's not. Where's that butterfly? Butterfly! Butterfly in the sky. Oh! Cat! Kitty! Wait. Twinkling light. Crystallized object. A whistling noise comes from the object? Oh, I want to see what that is. It appears to be encrusted... Oh, another... Okay, you've acquired crystalline petal. Crystalline petal? She loves me. Oh, that's good. There's a butterfly. Butterfly! Small butterfly flutters near you. It gives off a mysterious glow. Oh, I'm gonna become a butterfly mass murderer. Imagine if you'd given up the last time you felt like your whole world came crashing down. Think of all the amazing moments you would have missed. Wisdom has been granted. Thank you. Hi, kitty. Help? Bloodstained altar stands before you. Upon the altar rests a tattered diary. Ooh, what's it say? My decision has been noted. Maybe I'm prying too much into this diary thing. I don't know. Alright, first entry. We all grow frantic. We begin to panic. Impending doom looming over us now. Antagonistic antics. We grow manic. We spiral as we plummet toward the ground. We pray for the winged ones to come and save us from our fall. We pray to the watchful ones to guide us before we lose it all. We pray for sickness, health, greed, and wealth, mercy, or reprieve. All our prayers we shout in vain to a god in whom we do not believe. But this we must ask of you before you decide to go. There's uh, just what would you do if you knew that the god you don't believe in doesn't even believe in you? Signed the madman. Wow. <laughs> All right. Small rusty key sets on the page of the diary. Hey, I'll take it. First, I gotta pet the cat. Kitty! You know, small cat like creature wandering about aimlessly. Pet the kitty. Libby Lib. You reach down to inspect the tags, securely fastened to the collar of the animal. It reads the name Libby Lib. Okay. You give Libby Lib a gentle pat on the head. I love kitty! There's a static in the background, which is... Alright, that the rusty key must go to that. Uh, which sometimes seems to grow a little louder. I don't know if that happens because of my choices. Old rotted chest. It appears to be locked tight. Well, if it's rotted, I could probably kick it open. Yep, rusty key. Key turns to dust on your hands. Chest probably does too. Inside the chest rests a darkened vial of bubbling black liquid. 
It appears from the chest within a blink of an eye and somehow manages to find itself securely in the palm of your hand. Corrosive. Ooh. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. Can you set here? An old iron gate. Won't budge. I got corrosive. Yeah. Disintegrates before your eyes. Go away, iron gate. I still want to look at the sparkly hole down in the bottom right, but... Oh, you are so dead. Call. Hello? Blood so dull. Oh, it's a doll. Sits in the corner of the room. Her eyes are fixated on you and seem to follow you wherever you move. It almost looks as though its head moves slightly. It could be your mind playing tricks on you. Upon closer inspection, you notice the doll is wearing a ring around... Oh, I'm gonna walk away. No, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hey, what's this? Dried blood seems to have found a home upon its case. Who puts... Oh. Oh. 222. Ah, the last one was 111. Interesting. Some rope. Old noose sits on the table. Thick layers of dried blood. Thick layers of dried blood coat the old dusty rope. Flakes of crimson begin to crumble off the noose onto your hands, absorbing sweat and melding to your fingers like thick, sticky paint. Blah! What would you like to do? Hang myself upon the highest pillar? What the heck kind of choice is that? Take the noose with me? Yes, it might come in handy. Sorry. Alright, old journal. Here we go. List of questions. Oh, we're gonna fill them in. Do you have a favorite number? Yes. Seven. Do you have a favorite color? Yes. Green. Do you have any superstitions you genu genuinely believe? Yes. Life is short. Do you agree with the statement? Yes. Uh, have you ever cut anyone out of your life completely? Does it count if they still take up residence in your damaged mind every once in a while? Because then, I mean, technically, are they still in your life? They're not in your life. They're just, their memories are haunting you. But yes, I have cut people out completely. Have you ever felt like you've deserved a second chance? On occasion. Do you believe you can accomplish anything you put your mind to? No. Uh... They say that you can accomplish anything you put your mind to, but there are limits as far as physics goes. Would you say that you put high personal value on family? Hell to the yeah. Have you ever felt unloved? No. Got my fams. Have you ever felt unwanted? Well, in, my, in the back of my brain, yeah. Do you ever wonder if anyone is thinking about you? Yes, but that could just be my anxiety. Do you think about others often? Yeah. Would you say you're a considerate person? I think so. Do you ever feel like others don't always consider your feelings? Yeah, because I hide them too much. Do you ever feel undervalued? You finish your, inking your final answer into the journal. Crimson ink paints. Oh, we've got more. We're going to have another page? Bring the page with us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's human parchment. What? Another journal page. All right. Let's see. Oh, God, shit. The doll is gone. The doll is gone. Oh, we're ready. Here, this is. Uh, hi, kitty. Oh, can I pet the cat away? Again? Kitty. Meow. I pet the cat twice. Where'd that doll go? Alright, it's not here, so that's that's good. Still looks like someone dragged the bed across the hallway when... Gaping maw. The stillness. The silence. 
awaits the abyssal darkness in the depths below. Woo! You wonder how deep it goes. You hear the sound of breathing down below as if there's something lurking in the darkness. Good thing I have this rope. Can't help wonder what might be gazing back at you from below. Oh, I am not going to feed the mocks. The only thing here is the cat, and I am not feeding it the cat. Let's do this! Yeet! Decision has been noted. I am not feeding you the cat, and I know that's exactly where this would go. You foolishly leap into the abyss. You're not falling. You're floating in nothingness. Whee! You can't see anything. You can't taste, smell, or even feel anything at all. The only thing that you can hear is the sound of your soul being slowly masticated, devoured by every regret you ever had. Oh. God, it's like my... It's like my everyday. Endless potential. Picked apart and swallowed by the fears that consume you. Ow. 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 Wow. Your recklessness will be your eternal suffering. Oh, you cannot put a leash on your impulsiveness. You will leap blindly again and again and again until there's nothing left worth saving. Is this the life you wished for? Is this all you ever wanted it to be? We both know the answers to these questions, Wanderer. <laughs> I was just looking out to save the cat. Maybe I could feed the abyss something else? What else is around here that I can feed the abyss? Feed it that doll, but the damn thing disappeared. Alright, let's see if there's anything... Can I get past here? I feel like I should be able to. Is one of these clickable? That, that way? Nope. I don't know. I feel like I should be able to get up there, but then again, it doesn't look like there's anything really there. Alright, I'll wander around aimlessly for a minute. So, that's just a torch. What does that say? Oh, Tuskete. There we go. It's save me in Japanese again. Wow. Tiny letters. And here's... Alright. Oh yeah, I have the noose. kind of want to get down there. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Um, it, I think it's going to make me feed the void, but I do not want to feed it. I'll feel horrible. Yep. Okay. Why can't I use the rope? What would you like to do? I am going to regret this. Oh, good, the noose. You toss the noose into the maw. Phew, I thought it was going to be the cat. It wakes feverishly with hunger. Yeah, have some rope. A lot of fiber in your diet. <laughs> the abyss wants more. It always wants more. In this unfillable void that consumes you in every way imaginable. Oh, lordy. Living is the hardest thing we'll ever choose to do, Wanderer. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. Oh! Oh, cool. Well, alright. At least I didn't feed it the cat. You find yourself in an unknown chamber. A sense of calm washes over you. Though you're unsure of whether or not to trust in that brief and fleeting comfort. I do not. Ooh. A letter. 
and sealed envelope sits atop the wooden table. Let's see what it is. You open the envelope and re reveal what's inside. It's a handwritten letter addressed to seemingly no one. It reads... To whomever this may concern. I came here looking for answers. What I found, however, was far more than I had bargained for. I urge you to turn back now and leave this place. I can't! For it has already claimed too many desperate souls, seeking answers to questions that ought not be asked. If I can do one good deed with the last moment of my life, then let it be to leave a warning to the next poor unfortunate soul who may find themselves wandering these halls. Turn back now! Sometimes questions are better left unanswered. Signed, a friend. Thanks. Um, but it's kind of late for that, so... Yeah. Can I... Put the note back in the, in the envelope and leave it on the table. Yeah, I better leave it for someone else to read just in case. Is this 333? Old dusty clock. Hole in the bottom of the case where a critter might have made its home. Frozen on 333. All right. Bye fly! A glyph. <sighs> Here we go. Sorry. Why do I get a heart over my head when I do that? Life goes on one way or another, like it or not. You could choose to dwell in the past. You could focus on the future you still have left. Life will go on with or without you. A life for a blessing. Oh, sorry, butterfly. All right. Got more questions? I'm going to fill them in. Read the question from the journal. Yep, yep, yep. Would you consider yourself to have an addictive personality? When it comes to certain things, I don't know if it's if it's addictive so much or if it's like hyper focus. There are certain things that I do really get hung up on doing for an extended period of time. Would you consider yourself to be impulsive at times? Yeah, not often. Abnormal. Yeah, a lot of people have always told me I'm weird. To your knowledge, have you ever been tricked or deceived by someone you care for? Well, cared past tense, don't care about that person anymore. Would you say that you sometimes have a difficult time letting things go? Yes. Do you forgive easily? No. Would you consider yourself to be a liar? Is that the same as being a storyteller? I'm gonna say no. When someone lies to you, does it feel like an insult to your intelligence? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a realist? Ah, uh, Only out of necessity. Do you have nightmares often? Yeah. Oh, I enjoy sleep all right. Do you ever wish that you didn't have to sleep? Sometimes, yeah, so I could get more done. Would you consider yourself to be an anxious person? Uh, the clinical diagnosis of anxiety would say yes I am anxious again yes depressive also clinically diagnosed traumatized for past events that occurred in your past life yeah all right we're gonna get a new page yep torn made with different parchment it's probably human Torn journal page decision has been noted mark has been left all right, so we did the letter. We did the question. Oh! Oh, I could sit here and contemplate my orb. Oh, first a shiny. Tucked in the shallow divot of the floor. I'm going to take that, because I think if, if I collect all these petals, maybe the dude will find his girlfriend. You've acquired the crystalline petal. Crystalline or crystalline? Oh, there he is. She loves me not. Oh, sorry, bro. I'll try and find another one of those so, you know, she can love you. Oh, little house plant. A leafy planter sits on the table in the corner of the room. It looks as though it's been freshly watered by home. Who? 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 Ah, oh, there's a four-leaf clover among the leaves. It's not my plant. So I probably shouldn't take it. Ooh, flame. 
coins. I do want to see this. A large heavy chair sits against a stone wall. It appears to be made of clay and feels cold to the touch. Can I push it? Because there's an arrow. What's this? Crystal ball sits atop the bloodstained table. It gives off an eerie dark energy. What would you like to do? I'll peer into it, but I don't think I want to touch it yet. I'm going to contemplate my orb. It begins to radiate a dull light. Something deep within the crystal ball begins to rise to the surface. A wisdom token begins to push its way through the crystal, and the glass reseals behind it. Wow. Cool, a wisdom token. The sound of a door unlocking can be heard in, in the distance. Oh, I can also hear the garage door. That's <laughs> that's what caught me off guard. Um, so I presume only one of these is unlocked. For instance, an old wooden door with an iron handle. Once you venture through a door, Wanderer, you are unable to return. Make sure you're ready to depart before you continue onward and tread carefully. Um, I'm not going to open that door because I want to see... It said that another door in the distance opened. But there weren't any other doors down here. Just these two. I presume. Okay. I didn't know if maybe there was... Tapestry on the table is red and silken. Yeah. Yeah, I think this tapestry was potentially red before it was bloodstained. Whoever stands on a little wooden door with an iron hit. I like this one because it's near the plant. Which makes me feel like maybe there's uh... You know what? I'm going to take the clover with me. I might need it. Okay, lucky clover. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Unable to return, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go. You give the wooden door a heavy push. Elapse in time. A familiar room surrounds you. It brings on another, on an unfamiliar feel. Why is this familiar? Game's been saved. Butterfly! Oh. See, a lot of these are injured, so... I don't know if it's kinder to put them out of their misery. Sometimes silence gives more answers than anything we could ever ask from words. Can you feel their pain, Wonder? Can you hear the agony through their silence? Ouch! Okay. Are those paw prints? Oh no, they're hand, hand prints. Various notes are scattered across the table. Oh, they're written in a strange language I've never seen before? Are you sure? Test me. Alright. Guess I'm gonna need a key for that. A handprint appears to be carved into each side of the chest along with a set of words. The two words are as follows dream and nightmare what would you like to do yeah I'm, not, I'm not gonna walk away for a minute i want to see what else is here oh i bet this is 444 yep they're only gonna be able to do that one more time for 555 then what do they do 606 an old journal made from thick animal skin parchment. All right, we're doing the answers. Da, 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 da. Have you ever felt like your friends and family have been keeping things from you? Everybody has secrets, so sure. Ever felt lost in life? Yeah. Are you confident in your ability to lead people in a successful direction if the situation required it? If the situation required it, yes. I can wrangle some cats. I mean humans. Would you sometimes consider yourself to be a follower? Yeah, if someone's got everything handled, then I don't have to be the leader. Have you ever dreamt of being a hero? Hasn't everyone? Have you ever considered being a villain? Not 
really? No, I don't think I have. Have you ever hurt someone's feelings unintentionally? Yes, uh, because sometimes I'm just a clod. Have you ever hurt someone's feelings on purpose? Yeah, this is when I was a kid. Does you consider yourself to be an artist of some sort? Um, I do costuming, so I guess I that's... Am I a fabric artist? Do you feel respected in your day-to-day -day life? I work in retail, so no. Would you consider yourself to be scarred? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Oh, definitely. Do you believe in perfection? Sure, it's probably out there. If you knew when your significant other was going to die, would you tell them? Oh, that's a tough one. Just you knowing is bad enough, but... Uh, you'd want them to make the most of their time left? On the other hand, would that be the only thing on their mind? They wouldn't be able, be able to enjoy life because every moment is... This is my last whatever. No, I wouldn't tell them, but I would guide them into more fruitful activities. Have you ever trusted someone with your darkest secret? Do I have a darkest secret? If I do, I probably trusted one person. Probably my sister. All right, final page of the journal, blah, blah, blah. Yep, my decision has been noted. All right, I'm coming back to you later, little chest. Hey, 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 is that the cross that disappeared in the... Ooh, shiny! In the uh, cemetery. Yes, we're going to take it. Grab out. So now we're on... She, we're back to She Loves Me. Okay, good. Yay! All right, we've got two doors. One with the cross that seems to be the one that disappeared. Yeah. I think if if that's the same, it's... Oh, here's here rests Lust. Lust would choose to keep the body and get rid of the soul. Love would choose to keep the soul and happily accept whatever body comes with it. There exist few diseases quite so destructive as lust. Whoa! Oh! Yikes. I'm gonna give you my wisdom token. Because I have one. Token. You lay the token at the statue's feet. You're a voice echo in your mind. It's best, best to judge one by the questions it... Not... Oh. It's best to judge one... Oh, by the questions they ask rather than the answers they give. Oh. Um. Okay. <gasps> Sound of a door unlocking can be heard in the distance, but first I want to touch this. Old wooden chest. Okay. Two words are as follows. Dream and nightmare. What would you like to do? Ah, uh, <laughs> the chain on the chest breaks with a loud metal clank. The contents of the chest are yours for the taking. You've acquired angel feather. Cool. I'll keep that with my box of butterfly wings. Keep this with you as you continue your journey, for it will be of importance to you as you gain this upon your reflection. Thanks. Um, now the left door, the right. The right door is where the cross was. Kind of curious about that. Old wooden door with an iron handle. Yeah, let's do that. Because we did left door last time. Old friends die hard. A faint growl can be heard briefly in the distance. It fades as quickly as it came. And you wonder if you even heard it at all. Oh... Is this, uh, 555? Initials TTT are carved on top of the case. Hands of the clock. Yep. Alright, so there's a door. There's a door. Scrolls. 
I'll read these. They might be interesting. Select a scroll from the pile and read it aloud. Uh-oh. Did I just encant something? You're interrupted by the sound of a monstrous guttural bellow coming from the very walls that surround you! The walls are alive. Okay, I'm gonna put these down. We're gonna walk away from the butterfly! That butterfly wasn't there before. It's covered in a viscous green liquid. It could be poison. I'm not touching that. Oh, good God. Hey, look, toxic waste. If I walk in it, will I become a mutant? <sighs> yeah, take that. Now we're on She Loves Me Not. Jeez, I hope I can find them all. What is this? Should I answer the questions first? Alright, we'll answer the questions first. Da 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 da. Would you consider yourself to, yourself to have a great deal of empathy? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a romantic soul? Yes, unfortunately, I'm also very practical, so I hide it. Do you ever make reckless decisions that you later end up regretting? Not these days. I used to. Would you consider yourself to be nosy? Nah, not really. Do you ever sing when no one is listening? All the time. Do you ever feel like you can't be yourself in front of others? Being myself on YouTube, pretty much, so... But there are times, yeah, when... Do you trust everyone in your social circle entirely? No. You say you had a happy childhood. Yeah. Could you be happy in life even if no one knew who you were? Like, even my family? That would be... Harsh. Mm. I'd at least want my family to know me. Would you be happy being a performer for a living? Yeah, that would be fun. Do you typically avoid big parties or social gatherings? Yes. Do certain words make you uncomfortable? Like moist? <sniffs> Do you enjoy solving riddles? Eh, I'm not very good at it, but yeah. Do you ever look for a deeper meaning in things? Yeah. Do you ever suffer from auditory hallucinations? No. Not that I recall. Alright, that's the last one there. I'm just gonna go find those bears. Go what's up there. Yep, get my journal page. I'm not touching that butterfly because it said it's covered in green liquid, which I presume is this. And I don't want to touch that. A blue bear? Three bloody bears sitting in a row. Who do they belong to? Where are they to go? Red's missing an eye, which makes it hard to see. Blue's missing a, missing a mouth, which makes it hard to breathe. Black's missing a heart, which makes it hard to care. As three blood bloody arrows reveal the bloody bears. Um. Out of all of them? Probably red. Ah! Put your hand in the bear's stomach. Oh, wisdom token. Oh, that's cool. Got a wisdom token. Nice. Oh, jeez, a crow. And a door unlocked. It's probably that. Oh, it's going to be one of these two. Oh, I don't know. They both go into walls. Dog on pocket dimensions. All right, we'll go here. Old wooden door. Yeah, I've been going through the doors that are near other objects, so let's see what happens. Hey, midnight snack. Is this the thing that was growling before? Ah! Something's eating. Ugh. Here's sound of flesh being ripped from the bone, pulled apart and devoured. Ugh. Seems to be coming from a darkened corner of the chamber just out of firelight. Nice kitty. Good kitty. We 
You stand perfectly still as not to draw your attention to yourself as you listen attentively. I don't want to stand still. I want to go hide. Go away. Chewing abruptly ceases and something seems to be shining in the distance. It catches your eye briefly before fading. Was that its eyeball? Oh, there's something in here with me. Oh, sparklies. Something is reflecting in the firelight and giving off a slight glimmer. What's the glimmer? You reach out and grab the glimmering object. It's caked in dirt and filth, except for a slight metallic edge. You rub the object between your fingers to clean off the muck. Ooh, wisdom token. Now we have two. Wow. Alright, what's the clock say? Because we did 555. Large crack going down the center. One, two, three. Okay. This butterfly's not moving. Oh. I didn't want to touch the other one because it was covered in green goog. But I'll take that one. Some treat others how they're treated. Some treat others how they wish they had been treated. Ah, oh, the feel of their wings wiggling in your fingers. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that this is making me rethink the whole butterfly thing. All right. Next set of questions. Do you believe that you do enough to help others in need? I do what I can. Do you believe that you can rely on those around you to take care of you if need be? Yeah, my family's around. Do you ever see things that aren't really there? I don't think so. Uh, have you ever been woken up from a deep sleep from the sensation of falling? Yes, I hate that. It's nothing to fear but fear itself. Do you agree with that statement? No, I, there's, there's a lot more to fear. Have you ever lied to someone within the last week? You know, working in retail, you have to tell a lot of falsehoods, if you will. Um, I'm so, I'm sure. Do you sometimes make promises that you just can't keep? I try not to make promises at all. Would you consider yourself to have a guilty conscience for many things? Do you often worry about others? Yep. Do others often worry about you? Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think I worry some people. Have you ever trusted someone entirely without question? No. Negative. Would you consider yourself to be emotional? Not really. They're kind of held in check. Do you ever feel the presence of someone in the room with you even when you're alone? Like ghosts? Maybe. Do you believe that everything in life will work out exactly the way it's supposed to? Yes, the way it's supposed to might not be perfect, but it'll work out. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Nah. Except that one. Thanks for making me a liar, game. Alright, final page of the journal. Got that. Torn journal page. Decision has been noted. Mark has been left. Goody. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. All right, so that's it. There was the growling up here. Oh, jeez, is that what it was eating? Oh, got a flower petal. Now take that. Pierce being crushed flower petal. What are we on now? Are we on She Loves Me Not? Oh, She Loves Me. Okay, that's good. Oh. Some memorial? Small ritualistic altars rest on the dirty floor. Coins sit among the candles, all surrounding a picture of a mirror. Among the coins, you notice this one that's only half a coin. That's not... That's not my coin. I'm not touching that. Is this the one that was eaten? Come across the skeletal remains. Ugh, yep. Ugh. Oh, lordy. 
eaten alive within mere minutes of your arrival. Sucks to be you, buddy. Sorry. I gotta give this uh, woman one of my coins. Lay a token at the statue's feet. You hear a voice echo in your mind. Character and reputation are two different things. Pay attention to your character, for that is what you are. Your reputation, however, is what others think you are. You'd be wise to pay attention to the difference. It's true. Paid tribute and received a blessing of wisdom. Decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. Sound of the door unlocking can be heard in the distance. Um. I feel much better going to the little altar door. Yep, old wooden door. Go for it. The leftovers. <laughs> I just saw the leftovers. They were sitting in a chair. Putrid stench emanating from somewhere in this room permeates your nostrils and makes you wretch violently. Ugh, nasty. Your game has been successfully saved. All right. And with that, I'm going to call it here. But we will continue this in a part two. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.